Adobe did really huge and good update for After Effects. Does it sound natural? Not really, but it's true. Finally, Adobe did some huge update and improvement of After Effects with new, really useful features. Alright, let's find out what they've made and how we can use it in our daily works. Okay, I am in After Effects and let's check it out what we have here. So when we create new composition, first improvement that we have is new presets. Down here that you can choose depends on your needs. For example, for social media, for 4K videos, etc. And back then we needed to put all values manually. And right now we have these nice presets, which is really, really helpful. It's small improvement, but yeah, it's, it's useful. Next thing I want to talk about is uh, new presets. So if we open animation presets, for example, shapes, we have a bunch of new useful presets that we can use in our project. For example, grid of crosses. So here we have a bunch of uh, crosses and we have controls. We can make them bigger and make them can rotate them and also thicker like so of course you can recreate this effect manually with shapes but it's really useful because you can save some time by using these presets so i recommend you to spend some time and check those new presets and find which of them work best for you and yeah use them in your workflow all right, and now I'm gonna show you my favorite update that happened to After Effects. And I was waiting for this for a really long time and now it works. And it's a new improvement of using TrackMate system and how it works. So if you use old version of After Effects, you probably know that if you want to use, for example, this button as a alpha channel for this image, for this background image, you had to place image below the button and use it as alpha mate, right? And right now it's updated and all you need to do is to use peak whip and connect this image to this button and After Effects know that we need to use this button as alpha channel for this image. And now you can connect all layers from the composition to this uh, one alpha mate I just uh, use Big Whip and connect all my layers to this uh, button. As you can see, everything works fine. And I have small animation here. And everything works perfect. Also, if you want to switch from Alpha to Lumamate, all you need to do is to click here on this uh, mode view, on this mode. So right now it's it's alpha, now we switch to Lumamate, okay? And you can do the same for all other layers and also you can use Invert. And it's really useful for compositing and for motion graphic. This will help us a lot uh, while we're doing our work. Next huge improvement that After Effects finally added, not added, but uh, bringing back ability to render H.264. And right now we don't longer need to export this project into media encoder we can render it straight in after effects to do this we go to composition add render queue and here we have uh, three new presets with h264 and the difference in bitrate or we can open output model and here we can set up from quicktime for example to h264 and in format settings, we can set up bitrate and performance, and we can increase uh, bitrate like so. We just hit render and everything is set up. I really don't like to use uh, media encoder for render from After Effects because sometimes it takes a lot of time to render this project in, in uh, media encoder queue and it's really annoying. Right now it's super fast and super simple. And few more features that we will have in the future updates, but right now it's available only in a beta version of After Effects. So we can download it now and try them out. But they are really, really useful, especially for me. Uh, I was waiting for those uh, updates for a really long time. 
And the first thing is finally they add uh, ability to import 3D model inside of After Effects without any third-party plugins. And how to do that? Just double-click and browse your OBG file on your computer, hit import. And right now we have a new OBG uh, layer here. And let's drag and drop it inside of uh, our composition. And here we have uh, information that we need to switch our 3D render to Mercury 3D and hit OK. And right now we have ability to play with the scale. Right now it's 100% scale in meters. I prefer to use centimeters. We have a pretty huge model here. And by changing those values, you can see size of the, of the model in centimeters. Pretty small, but we can increase the scale later on. Hit OK. And here we have our model. Right now it's really small. Let's make it bigger. Just select OBG file and hit S, scale values, like so. And also we can use one, two, three buttons on your keyboard. One for rotation, two for uh, position, and three to zoom in and zoom out. Like so. And you see, like we have a really good quality of the model and we can rotate it and it works the same way like in Cinema 4D, in Fusion, if you use Fusion. One problem that we have here right now, but I think it, it's temporary, that we cannot change almost nothing with this model. We cannot uh, change the color, we cannot add textures. And the only we can manage here is uh, transform settings. We can play with the scale, with the position and rotation. And I really hope that in the future updates we'll have ability to play with the color. But right now what's cool that we can add, for example, a red light here. And let's place it on the right side. Let's duplicate it and place it on the left side and let's change color to blue right and we change the color of the model so it's kind of fake coloring right now it's good that this model already interact with the light also we can add some other uh, elements for example we can add solid and place it below the model and yeah it works really fine and one more improvement that we have in After Effects is new uh, Draft 3D mode, just enable it here. And as you can see, we have a uh, grids for the floor and it's much easier to understand where we in the, our 3D space. What's also cool about this Draft 3D mode that now we are able to see layers behind the actual screen. So we have our actual screen. This is what we will have in the final render. And on the sides, we, we can see what's going on behind the scene, right? So this is really, really useful because you can uh, understand what layers you have on the sides, so what, how it works, how it interacts with the, your scene. Also, we can turn it off. As you can see, like we can turn it off and now we no longer see uh, what's going on outside of our frame. Also, we can turn off grids. Another cool improvement that we have in After Effects here is a new, new window called Properties. Let's enable it. And what it does, if, for example, we will select our plane, we have all our transformation in this uh, window. And we can unlock this uh, window, we can place it anywhere we want, for example, here. And right now we are able to uh, manipulate with transform of this object. Instead of uh, going into transform section and play with those settings here, right now we have everything here. This is really helpful and it works with all layers, right? We can play with the opacity, for example. It works with the light and some layers are lack of um, functions and for example with light I can interact only with the positions value which is not so good but I hope in the future updates we'll have more and more features and this panel works really good with shapes finally we can create a shape 
and we have uh, controls of this shape inside of this panel. I will unlock it and make it a little bit bigger and right now you see that we have a layer transformation which is like a basic layer transformation obviously and also we have layer controls so for example we can uh, manipulate this star we can increase amount of points we can rotate it and play with those settings and everything we have in this panel will we no longer need to extend this uh, content and find those settings now it's more obvious and more uh, useful right if we create another star so we can manipulate and control each shape from the, from the group the only problem here is that we cannot add any uh, additional effects or uh, transforms for example i want to add repeater i need go to contents and go to add and add repeater and i cannot control this repeater in the properties panel and change everything manually on timeline but i hope in the future update we will have these improvements and we will be able to add more and more things inside of this panel as you can see we have pretty major update of after effects let me know what do you think about all those features uh, what of them you are going to use and let me know in the comment section which feature was the most desired for you thank you guys for watching and see you next time peace